Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Doc Ed Padama and this time we are going to discuss the short story entitled Footnote to Youth written by Jose Garcia Villa. So this will be part of the requirement of students taking up Philippine literature. So the content of this video will include the presentation which is the outline of the story and the outline will already be part of of what we call the plot of the story and the analysis of the story. So let's start with the elements that you are required to complete for this particular story. So we'll start off with the following elements. You have number one, you have characters, theme, number two, three is setting, four is plot, five is conflict, and six is resolution. So again, these were discussed in the initial video that you were required to watch for this particular subject, which is Philippine literature. So in the story Footnote to Youth, we also have to analyze why is it called Footnote and who were referred to as youth in this particular story. Specifically, why are they called youth? Okay, so in relation to this, I have already presented uh, the characters in the story. Namely, you have Dodong as the main character. Dodong was described as uh, 17 years old during the time of the story. And Blas, who is the firstborn of Dodong, was described in terms of age as 18 years old. And then Lucio who is the other suitor of Taeyang, was described as nine years older than Dodong. Nine years older than Dodong. Than Dodong. Okay, and then Taeyang was described in the manuscript as the story as shapeless and thin. But this was during her marriage to Dodong. So we are going to put all of this together. But uh, first, I am laying down the characteristics or the description of the characters of the story. So again, according to the manuscript, Taeyang was described as shapeless and thin. Another description presented in the manuscript is with regard to Dodong, which was described as made ugly or whom life was made ugly ugly so whom life life referring to marriage life so again the descriptions respectively made ugly by life and shapeless and thin of dodong and Taeyang, these were their descriptions when they already got married in the story and tona was the uh, future wife or fiance of blas okay so let's uh, place here the wife of Blas. And this one, Taeyang, aside from this description, is also the wife of the main character, which is Dodong. Okay, so basically these are the descriptions of the characters that we need to take note in order to follow with the flow of the story or with the outline of the story or the plot of the story. So, the theme of the story starts with the plot. So in the beginning of the story, so this will be the outline that we're going to use in discussing the plot so that you can uh, readily follow our discussion. So in the beginning of the story, planning to get married. Who is planning to get married? It's Dodong. Dodong, as you can see here, as illustrated in our photo, is in their farm. And he was talking aloud uh, and uh, he was assumed that he was talking to his carabao and he was trying to think of how to tell his parents about his plan of getting marriage to uh, getting married to Taeyang. So he was uh, uh, stressed because he did not have a job. Uh, he was tending their farm and Aside from that, the very obvious reason is that he is only 17 years old. So, in relation to this, the first plot of the story, 
the theme of the story can already be established as marriage. So let's write that down. Specifically, what type of marriage since Dodong is only 17 years old and uh, even according to our law, our legal law, you are not yet allowed to legally get married at this particular age since you are still considered a minor. Okay, so marriage is the theme. The setting of the story, as mentioned earlier, as you can see, Dodong was uh, tending the carabao in the farm. So let's place the first setting, farm. Okay, and then to continue with the plot of the story after the first part, which is planning to get married while he was thinking of this in their farm it was already time for dinner so when dodong uh, arrived at their house uh, dodong tried to ask we're already on the second plot to ask permission from his mother but his mother referred him to his father so after telling his mother that he wanted to get married his mother told dodong you go ask your father and during that time his father had this toothache and then eventually uh, to make the story short the father uh, left the final decision to dodong if he wanted to get married or not so again to make the long story short dodong and Taeyang got married at an early age okay now the third part okay so um we are already finished with the first and second the third is married life with lucio question mark why married life with lucio in this part of the story Yang was trying to reminisce not not actually reminisce imagine what her life would be if Yang married lucio again remember earlier we mentioned that lucio Lucio is the other suitor of Taeyang, which is nine years older than Dodong. And in this part of the story, Lucio was already doing good with regard to his, uh, to his life. He's uh, already financially stable. He has a good job. And uh, Taeyang was trying to uh, think what her, mar uh, what her life would be if she was married to Lucio while being married to Dodong. So remember, Dodong and Taeyang was already married during this time. Okay, now going to the next part. Building a family. During the marriage of Dodong and Taeyang, they had a firstborn, which is Blas. And according to the description in the manuscript, for six successive years or six consecutive years so these were the terms i uh, uh he was uh, that was used in describing the uh giving of birth of Taeyang to uh the the children of their family so they have six children for six consecutive years plus plus therefore they had a total of seven children okay they had seven children at this particular age and uh, that's why we are now going to use the description that uh, i presented here in the characters dodong was described as made ugly by life the life of being married at an early age he was made ugly so this was written in the manuscript or the original manuscript of footnote to youth while Taeyang was described as shapeless and thin during her married ma during her married life to Dodong okay again since she was uh, able to give birth for seven years and then after that she would have to do all of the household chores uh, uh, definitely the, this uh, particular description of Taeyang would uh, fit her for this particular situation okay after building family the last part of our plot which is planning to get married again referring to Blas and Tona Blas and Tona remember Blas is the eldest 
the firstborn of Dodong and Teyang. So at the age of 18 years old, at the age of 18, Blas wanted to get married and he asked Dodong for permission. Dodong, looking at his life with the number of children, the, the problems that came with uh, creating a big family at an early age, told uh, Blas to think it over or think uh, his plan over before getting married. So Dodong asked Blas, do you really need to get married because of what happened to the life of Dodong and Teyang? But again, Blas, as the same as Dodong, was persistent and really wanted to get married with Tona. And eventually, Blas and Tona got married. So again, these are the sequence of events that uh, happened. Uh, in the short story footnote to youth now how would we identify the conflict of the story the conflict is also known as the climax of the story so usually when we talk about the climax of the story this refers to uh, arguments uh, conflicts in terms of fighting and so on and so forth and Again, the, the norm for any story during this particular time with regard to conflict and climax is that it is located in the middle part of the story. Well, not in this case. If you observe the, the flow of the story, it is formed in a cycle. Okay? A cycle where Dodong wanted to get married and then eventually... So after getting married and after the sequence of events, it went back again where Blas also wanted to get married and asked permission to Dodong. Okay? So what is my point here? In the story footnote to youth, the climax is located in both the beginning and the end of the story. So when Dodong was already planning to get married at an early age, this was already considered as a climax. Okay, and then eventually towards the end of the story, when Blas already also considered of getting married at the age of 18, which is still considered young, this was also considered as part of the climax of the story. Okay, so this can be identified as the conflict of the story. Now, the resolution of the story is open-ended so when we when we use the term open-ended the the recommendations to solve the problem presented in the story is left to the readers of the story if you were empathize if you were in the position of Dodong and Teyang, what would you do? Okay, so this would be part of your requirement in writing the analysis for this particular story to write the resolution and you can only do this by asking yourself what would you recommend, what would you advise if you were in the position of Dodong and Teyang, who got married or who were the first one to get married at an early age. So this is where we end our presentation and analysis of Footnote to Youth by Jose Garcia Villa. And to my students in Philippine literature, I hope you were able to take notes of the elements and the sequence of events for this particular story. So thank you very much, everyone. Stay safe, God bless, and see you on our next video. Goodbye.